Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 37 of the Steak and Eggs podcast. I'm Emmy, and I'm with Asmin and Techie, as always. And today we have a lot of fun stuff to talk about, a lot of video game stuff, a bunch of new stuff getting announced. We've all been playing WoW. It's been really fucking fun, at least for me. I, I hope everyone else has been having fun. No. No? <laughs> no. Well, you made your own guild with like 10,000 fucking simps in it. That's right. That's right. They're going to do everything for me. You guys know how the promotions in my guild work? I actually don't know anything about your guild, so you can t- talk all about it. Well, I know it's called Roach Out. It's Roach Out, and then <laughs> we have a second guild called Roached Out. Uh, I don't know where, really how we did that. Probably should think of a better name. <laughs> and uh, basically, everybody gets invited into the guild, and uh, it's real simple. Everybody's the same. Everybody's a cockroach rank, right? Yeah. Then you can pay, this is interesting, five <laughs> gold. Oh, it gets better. Five <laughs> gold to an officer, and then they will promote you to the next rank. Okay. 10 gold is the next rank after that. Wait, so is it like you can skip by paying 10 or you have to pay 15 total to get to the second tier? I I, I don't even know. I didn't set this up. Wait, how much money to get to the max rank? uh, Well, I mean, that's... I don't even know. Like somebody, maybe he was trying to offer like thousands of gold to get officer rank. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Yeah. And then we have, it, it gets even better though. This is the best part is that if you are at a higher rank, you can pay 20 gold to have one of the roaches in the guild, the low ranks, snipped. You just get them booted? Get them kicked out of the guild. You pay 20 gold to get somebody <laughs> kicked out of the guild <laughs> if they're at the low rank. And so that encourages people to pay gold to obviously kick people out of the guild because fuck them. And then also it encourages them to pay gold to get out of the rank that they can get kicked out of the guild for. Wait, so why would anyone want to join this guild? What? Why, why would you not yeah, want to join why, that? why would you join just to get abused and, and pay gold? What else are you going to do? Oh, okay. Yeah, what else are you going to do? Like, I mean, at, least, at least there's something <laughs> okay. going on, right? I mean, like, fuck. Yeah. Like, wow, is it's, it's <laughs> fucking boring. Like, you might as well have something like this. We had our first guild meeting. And we had we killed somebody in celebration of it, which was actually we killed two people. Wait, how, how did you kill them? Oh, we had a Mount Gara. Oh, uh, yeah, we just had them kill each other, and uh, that You're was doing fun. Pokemon battles with the brooches. Uh, yeah, yeah, we had a level uh, level is is uh, his name was uh what's his name uh fucking Caspio or something like that uh Curspio, and um the guy got killed. Doesn't and, even know his name, well, and he remember. died for his entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> I try to remember what the name is, and uh, I've I've read it like fifty fucking times because like everybody was spamming his name was Caspio, but um yeah that that happened. It was really fun, and we made a second guild even that way uh, we could get more money. I think that's smart. The yeah. roaches the roaches yeah. have been good to me. Yeah, they follow me around Stormwind and they call me Baldy. Uh huh. And it's nice, you know. I have company. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's good. And they say, "Where's Asmund?" Mm-hmm. And I say, "I don't fucking know. I'm not here." <laughs> <laughs> It's normal, right? I mean, like, yeah, yeah I, I've been I've been leveling, and uh, that's been basically about it. Well, not really leveling, right? I've been getting power leveled the whole time. That's the same my, thing. My plan is to, I want to put in as little effort to this as possible. I want to just not even, un, like, I was even thinking about setting, putting somebody else on follow and then having them mob tag for me. And yeah. I just get half experience. Yeah, no, I think that's... To, just so I don't have to do anything. I think that's a good call. Yeah. I mean, why the fuck should you? Exactly. You've already beaten the game a hundred times. Yeah, it's like I've already done this before. Like yeah. I'm just trying to get sixty. Straight up. You know, I just wish they add a sixty boost into the store, Blizzard, please. I, so hardcore? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why not? That way it's just like it's easier so like I don't have to worry about leveling it, and stuff. If you, you know? reach sixty once, you, well, you're not gonna get it the second time. Like just, No, I know I get what you're saying. Yeah. For me, I, I'm tired of all these fucking purists who are yeah. like, oh my God, you mob tagged. Oh my god, you bought necklaces. Oh my god, you bought Z. People are making Reddit threads about me. Yeah, they're really upset what about the way that I'm playing. What Wait, that saying? you're getting power leveled? What about the just everything about me? Like basically, they're mad that I'm on the server. They're mad what? because so many people went on the server because I went on the server whenever we had the events. Uh, people said that they lagged and died, which is like you probably didn't lag and die because of me. You just suck. Yep. Number two, number one, number two. They're also mad because of the guild structure. They're really upset about that. They said the guilds pay to win. It is. <laughs> yep. It's pay to win. Well, uh, are, it doesn't affect them. They don't have to join. Well, yeah, but um, they're probably already in the guild, or they probably oh. got they probably got snipped, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah there kicked you out. Go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, it, it, yeah, people are really mad about and, and also mob tagging. Is this on your Reddit? 
Oh yeah, we banned some people, but like there were a few threads about it, and there so was like YouTube. How comments. in the fuck do you have a hate thread on yourself on your own Reddit? Is that normal? Well, yes, I don't know. that is. I I see that all the time. What the? F that's insane. I don't even. To me. I don't even follow that many streamer Reddits, but they get re recommended to me like Nick or XQC or whoever. So why wouldn't their you just... own viewers post hate threads on them all the time? Why wouldn't you just ban those people? I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, they do get banned, yeah. but the, the threads usually get left up for like five, ten, whatever yeah, five hours. Five hours, yeah, yeah. something like that. I mean, that, that's that's insanity. Uh huh. Just walking into someone someone's house and then shitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. bro. Well, no, but you have happening? to know that these are people that are like obsessed with them. So like they like hate love them, right? They're like, I love them, but they're not doing what I want them to do. So yeah. I'm pissed. Pretty much is what it is. It's really cringe. It was really cool because uh, I have played gotcha games for like three and a half years, streamed to MMO, maybe like twice, I received absolutely zero pushback from streaming MMOs. There was nobody complaining. Nobody bitched. Nobody said play Honkai. Nobody said play Genshin. Nobody gave a fuck. They're just like, wow, this is pretty cool. Man, you're having fun, huh? Because I've been treating it like a podcast. I yeah. boot up the game. I get into a call with eight of my buddies and then we just talk for the next 16 hours straight. I do that except for there's nobody else except for me. Yeah, I just talking... sit there and talk. Yep. Yeah, I talked about politics for like three hours. What what politics? Uh, about Donald Trump. He's winning. <laughs> yeah, he's going to win 100%. Yeah, Wait, he's you know running? He's yeah. Oh, yeah. I well, he's, I no, he's not know. running. He's winning. Yeah. Oh. It's, there's, yeah, he's going to run, then he's going to win. Yeah, there's, there's like, there's no, there's no one else. Like Sleepy Joe, he probably slept through the, you know, the, the sign up phase. Or, sign up phase. <laughs> <laughs> sign up phase. Yeah, he's like, what's going on? The draft, yeah. what? I think it'll be so fucking funny and people get so mad about it. That's the thing is like, I told people like, I want my guild chat. I want people to be fighting about politics in my guild chat. I want people to be like mad, like using profanity, getting angry at each other. I want it to be like a real fucking clown show. Yeah. I, I basically, because I look at it, because I knew that whenever I started playing the game, it would bring a lot of people in, right? From like the server. Absolutely. And I thought to myself, if I joined y'all's guild, like I'm going to ruin your guild. I'll ruin the guild. Yeah. Uh he would. I will because like there, a lot of people will come and they'll start messaging you guys and they'll oh. be like annoying. Oh yeah, yeah. It'll be really bad and it might not bother you but like some random fucking normie streamer that gets invited into this shit and then they have 15 people messaging them where's Asmon bald? Like, you know, <laughs> eat my ass. Like, who are you? Like, you're irrelevant. Like, you're fat. Like, just randomly. Yeah. And it's like, I have to be kind of like the, uh, the, the lich king for these, uh, these animals. And so I keep them all to myself. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I think the only people that actually- it's a service. The only, and I shouldn't be saying this on podcasts, but I don't care. The only people who really piss me off are the people who flood my inbox with chunks of meat. That way I can't receive more inbox mail. And yeah. they're taking away- It's fucking infuriating. I'll wake up and I'll have 120 chunks of boar meat in my mailbox and I can't receive anything. It's so fucking irritating. That is annoying. Other than that, people who follow me around and be dickheads in chat, I think it's hilarious. I feel like people need to loosen up. I think that like, it's just, it's not a big deal to me, right? And and it's all like entertainment and everything. Like, I don't think, I mean, do you think y'all are ever going to do Molten Core, the 40-man race? Yes. I think that the guild will, but I feel like a lot of people that are currently playing will not make it. How yeah, many Including myself, potentially. You don't think you're going to make gonna it? You're going to make it. I, I feel like, I genuinely don't know. Because like, I, I do want to like- Explain one boss in Molten Core to me. I don't know. She's not going to make it, guys. Am I supposed Sorry. to study up now? Well, I mean, I would just be aware of it, you know? Like, I mean... Isn't... Well, isn't 40 the halfway point? Should I be preparing isn't this 40 early? 40 the halfway? I don't know. I mean, it's like... It's uh, XP-wise, that's what I don't even 43. know. 43? Yep. Yeah. I have no idea. I'm not even halfway there. Some say so. 43, some say 47. I don't know how the fuck that's possible. It doesn't even matter because the yeah. scaling is totally different. Like, it's a, it's just a numerical breakpoint. Well, did, did you not see our, our guild meeting? Soda was... Uh, I mean, I don't know why he did it during that meeting because I don't think anyone's going to remember. But was he, he was already trying to teach us like uh, trash mobs and bosses Uncle for Rush. upcoming name, dungeons. Name one of them. There's the one that looks like Nasus that yep. has the curse. Yep. There's the, Nas the, Wait, who's Nasus? Nasus from League of Legends. Big dog, big Anubis. Yeah, Anubis. Dog. Big dog. Big dog. Okay, the curse. Okay, what and is Uncle the Rush. curse do? Is that... Wait, pulse, is that the one pulses that, out. Yeah, pulses out and it can and do like 2,000 damage. Yeah. And then there's another boss where you have to stand in groups of five, of four, five groups of four because like it like ricochets and like the damage increases. And there's this big fucking bee that flies at someone and one shots them. And there's these Fair dudes enough. in these airplanes that fucking explode if you don't kill them fast yeah, enough. Yeah, 9-11. And uh, 
he skipped some of the other mobs because he was like, I don't even know who this is. And I was like, wait, what the fuck is going on? So I basically don't remember anything. Cool. The Gurubashi Bat Riders is what you're talking about. Yeah. Yep. And people die to them every day. And you can, you can, you can drink. Levels, that what's so funny to me is to watch somebody who's level 60 and you see all their gear is enchanted and everything and just to see them fucking die just out of nowhere to some mechanic that's 18 years old. That's brutal. It's hilarious to me. I, I, God, that's brutal. It I, is scary. Like, he was even telling us, like, you need to all get roach meter to detect the roaches so that yeah. they don't pull all the other mobs. Oh, dude, when I'm in RFD and I see roach aggro, I'm like, oh, God, yeah. find that bitch. Shoot him before he gets out. And then also there's what? There's roach aggro in there. And I don't, there's scarab aggro in Zulfarak, which you're about to do. Have you ever done Zulfarak ever? No. You're going to love it. It's one of my favorites. It has this moment where you're on top of the staircase and just wave after wave of like undead troll come up. It is so cool and incredibly stressful. Yeah, and, I'm, I mean, I'm excited, but I mean... That's the next big moment. I'm, I'm not overconfident is what I'm saying. I, I will say this. ZF is the next big moment where you might die. Because if somebody fucks up the, the stair phase... You're not going to do it with Miz, are you? There's not that many other people around my level. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. okay, well, I mean, it is what it is, right? Well, there's actually a lot of people can help you. There's Jimmy. Jimmy's been great to party with. Yeah. He's been really, Jimmy's the only reason why I'm playing Classic WoW. Uh -huh. Jimmy's been really good. Uh, I just hit 45. Um, Corey is doing great, but sometimes he overpulls because I think he gets bored. Uh, and then there's Llama, really good. I actually think we have a lot of very strong players, like very strong players. Yeah, I think that there's a high chance that it does make it to Molten Core, but yeah, I don't know how many like well-known streamers will make it there. It's probably going to be uh, Soda and 39 other people that play Classic WoW. Yep. Yep, that's going to be about it. I'll be, I'm excited. I, I think that, I mean, I'll probably get 60. I will go to y'all's raid if you want. I will, I will go to the raid. I will participate. I will partake as That'll a warlock. Be fucking Ugh. awesome. Yep. I'll wipe the red. No, you you <laughs> wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. Right. <laughs> You're really funny. If I that did, would be fucking awful. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> I'll have to figure out a way to do it. Nobody notices. That would be make a video about it a year later. Oh, that would be fucking miserable. I'm actually very attached to my character. Yeah? Like, I would actually be devastated to die to some bullshit. I don't even remember Dude. what my character's name is. Uh, Classic plus X. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. I've been saying this. I, I'm sure that people will mess up in the raids and Soda's going to analyze it. I do not, like, I do not envy those streamers that are going to be in that position. I yep. mean, maybe I'll be one of them. Yeah, I don't exactly. Know. You, could, you, could, you could die. Okay, yeah. well, just, you're not going to buff during combat. Yeah, well, uh, the big thing is I didn't realize how big of a deal it was until after that because no one told me that it generates threat, which is, like, more important than the mana thing, I think. Yep. But, I mean, now I know, so. Yeah, it's it's very hard to know things that you don't know. That's very hard. You There's a lot of things through. in Classic WoW that are, like, instant death mechanisms, and you're only going to know them when after happens, you die. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like, for example, I've had three close calls so far. Uh, one, I was in Stranglethorn Vale. There was three more Murlocs underwater. They're all casting lightning bolt at me. I go to LOS behind a pillar. The pillar just doesn't LOS. Yeah. It just, they just go. It's they, the they just one under, it. it's the, like the ruins. Yep. Yeah. They're just shooting through it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, great. So I can't charge them because they're underwater. Right. And I'm slowed. I can't get <laughs> to them. Something like that happened to me with Murlocs too. I went behind a fucking hill and they were shooting me through the hill. Yep. Oh, and yeah. They like can do that. Yeah. Hill. It has to be yeah. like hard LOS, like a rock or something. Yep. Yeah. And it's, it's fucking insanity. So then I run. Um, the only reason why I lived is because I resisted a frostbolt. Ooh. That's the only reason. And I got Damn. the fuck out of there and I target dummied and I just got the fuck out. Uh, then the other time I was in a cave, I thought one of my uh, slaves was inviting me to a party, but it wasn't my slave. It was some random guy who was trying to get me killed. Accepted it, got layered. Mm -hmm. And then a boss and six wargans are on me. Ooh. Turn around, looking for my buddies. They're not there. Drop a target dummy, get the fuck out. And that's pretty much the end of it. Uh, those are only close calls. Uh, everything else has been incredibly smooth. And I just, what I'm doing is something crazy. I just don't do anything for content ever. Yeah. Ever. I don't do content polls. Every dungeon I do is very methodical. It's very calculated. And I don't fuck around at all because I'm making it to 60. And I refuse to tank for only fangs, no matter how much people ask me to. I refuse. So speaking of making polls for content, Emmy, how did you feel whenever Miz got you killed? Uh, 
Uh, I, I was really fucking sad about that character. But I mean, yeah, I didn't know that buffing up. Uh, Cause Soda had told me before not to buff Fort in the middle of fight. He was like, oh, cause you're gonna be oom. And I just like, I, I like wasn't really prepared when the next pull happened. And then I buffed him when he was like in combat. And I was like, oh, but it's not a big deal. I have enough mana. I didn't know it generates threat. So that I had like five or six things on me at one point. I also didn't know that Light of a Loon shares a cooldown with other potions. And I had done another pot like five seconds before Just that. And then because I did my Light of a Loon macro, I was fucking hearthing. So I, I got interrupted and then I couldn't heal myself. So it was just like unfortunate, ignorant thing after unfortunate, ignorant thing. But I mean, I know now. That actually you know? didn't happen. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I watched it. So, so that guy, uh, you know that that game orc, is butt. That that no, that orc that like hit you. If you look at the animation on your character, you actually were casting a heal, and then he there was oh an he animation. interrupted the heal. He interrupted your heal. Oh, it I thought he. Wasn't I your thought fault. it was because of me hearthing. His name is Iron Patch. He's level oh, forty five. I didn't orc. know. Yeah. And uh, okay. Yeah, well, he, then the hearth wasn't as big of a deal. Yeah, exactly. It was not. I told you. I was. I made a whole video about this. Yeah, this was uh Holy shit. I feel bad for Gamer's butt. Really? His reputation is just ruined. Well, he doesn't need to worry about that <laughs> he because fucking he died. died. But he'll come back. He's, I, yeah, I he's can't believe he fucking died in Stockade's wall in that call. And did you hear his girlfriend in the back? Like, you just died. Just, yeah. So how did that happen? How did he die in front of Stockade? Uh, he was playing with Miz and then he went AFK. And outside of stockades, there's like level 20 mobs that come out. It's like kind of like it's supposed to simulate like a riot, you know, like, oh, all these monsters are going to come out or yeah. these like uh, prisoners are going to come out and then like the storm and guards kill them, yeah. right? But if you stand right there, the those uh, prisoners will attack you before the guards aggro oh, them. Oh, God. So that's how that's how he got killed. Yeah, actually sucks. That's awful. He's level 48. Yeah. yeah, he's that, back in the game though. I saw him. He messaged really me the sucks. other day. He's still yeah. grinding. Yeah, and uh, I found it outrageous how Miz was blaming him for pulling the mobs underneath the boat. Well, I think I, I don't find it outrageous because I genuinely believe Miz had no idea what happened. Yeah, well, <laughs> I I think he had no idea. I mean, what if you really if you watch the clip, the the guy does like run around the corner, and I was like, what is like? I don't even know why he ran in there. Yeah, but, but he didn't pull anything. It was just Miz pulling all that shit. Yep, was. Yep. And, uh, I felt pretty bad. I did. It's like, especially like dying at 42, like, holy shit, I would be so mad. I, I was genuinely furious. considering like, do I just not play again? But yeah. Then, but then like, I was like, no, there's nothing to do, but just go again. What are you going to do if you die again? <sighs> Same thing, I guess. Just I don't know. But I, I would feel so bad because a lot of the people that helped me power level back up played like the whole fucking time, which was 24 hours for me yeah. to get back to 24. To total, not in one sitting, I, but total, yeah. it was 24 hours. And like, I don't, I don't know. I just feel so fucking bad. That's what they wanted to do. And I, you shouldn't I feel know, bad. I know, but I just don't want to, them to have to do it again, is what I'm saying. I get that. But like, I mean, from my and perspective- And they do have to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Is that like, that was, they, if they didn't want to do it, they would just not do it. Mm -hmm. Right? They're there because they want to. That's true. Yeah. And, they, and don't be real, that content was fucking awesome. Like, even when Miz leveled, that was such good content. It is so cool to see WoW Hardcore just getting obliterated with a whole raid group leveling up one yeah, person. Yeah, I mean, it is boring just, like, watching someone kill the same shit over and over again. But, I mean, it's kind of chill. And then it's, like, nice seeing, like, you know, getting closer to the goal. I think it's chill as fuck. Yeah. I like it a lot. Every single time I level hits, I didn't hits, mind it at mean. all. Like, I, I didn't hate releveling at all. I mean, it is like a grind. I'd prefer not to do it, but I didn't yeah. hate it. When you got to 28 HP twice in one fight, that was horrifying. You saw that, that right? That did happen, yeah. Okay. With the Morgan? Yeah, she was leveling up yeah. during the and power leveling. Yeah, and then also, one of, my, one of my power levelers almost fucking died because they went AFK and we were doing the Murlocs and they were following someone else in the group and they they were drowning. <laughs> and, oh my god. And then they got to like 15% health and then someone else noticed and was like, everyone turn around right now, heal him. And they saved him. And he yeah. almost fucking died. No one noticed he was drowning. That's so funny. There was a level 48 warlock that was helping me level and he had like 50 nulls on him. And oh he god. was at literally one, like, like you couldn't even barely see his health. And I'm like freaking out. Because it's like, this guy's about to die because of me. And then he won't be able to power level me anymore. Yeah. This is going to be awful. Yeah. And so I'm like, I've got to fucking do something. I fear away one Noel. And he lives with like 
14 health. So I actually fucking saved You're him. You're a goddamn hero. I did. And he even messaged me about it. That was I crazy. felt so good about yeah. that. I'm pissed because my one helper that was always there, uh -huh. I can't play with anymore. Why? He's, he got kicked from Fangsley. Oh, really? His name's Guano Gang. Bros. Oh, yeah. People were saying that he like, Almost killed someone like on yeah. accident. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, he's almost happened. killed me a couple times, but I think he's funny. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe it was yeah. you. And also, there's this other guy. Uh, yo, Meat, thank you for selling me the Flurry Axe for 100 gold off. There's your shout out. I promised you. Wait, isn't Guano Gang also the guy that saved Miz at the end of the tunnel and then right before he died? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I think I think he's got a bad rap. Guano rep. Gang giveth and Guano Gang taketh away. <laughs> that being said, he is schizo as fuck. That guy yeah. is off the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> Bro types in all caps. Oh. Well, which I do that too, you but it's weird yeah, when he you, does it. You talk in all caps. <laughs> you talk in all caps IRL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, but I got this new guy called Jimmy Prime. Okay. Bro is convinced he's the son of the light. Yeah. Full RP. Yeah. We're standing out in the rain over in Feralis, and he's like, sir, it's quite wet. May we seek shelter? <laughs> I'm like, as you wish. <laughs> whatever the light, whatever the light commands. Oh yeah, have, there's this one named Murphy who role plays as a Stormwind guard. He's got the Stormwind guard armor, and he just walks everywhere and he types like a Stormwind guard. That's so <laughs> cool. I think Fangsley is the best part of Hardcore Classic. I don't know if he's in Fangsley, but yeah. Well, the the, the helpers are the best part of Hardcore yeah. Classic. It is seeing the, so seeing much the same fun. helpers is nice. Yep, it is so goddamn good. And if we got the new green wall where we can see both guild chats and they just meow. All day. That's good. That's so stupid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to see so that. so good. Man. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. The RPers, man. And uh, we, we now have code words to where when we ever go to the bathroom, we have to call it the litter box. Oh yeah. I got punished twice for that yesterday. I did not because I, I lost, refused. I'm back to zero DKP because of it. There is one thing I need in the guild and I don't give a fuck about the loot. I just want uh, the Raptor mount. And I'm thinking FKP will help me get that. Really? Raptor Mount would be fucking sick. That would be cool. That or Baron Rivendare's Charger. That's not going to happen. Yeah, well. It's a 0.02% drop chance. Yep. Okay. But imagine how cool it would be if I did get it. It would be crazy <laughs> if you got it. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> it would be, it would be <laughs> fucking crazy. And the thing is, I could do it infinitely. Yeah. So why wouldn't I? Well, you can't do it infinitely. Why? Because you can only do one run realistically an hour. Right. So how many hours? I mean, how many runs are you going to do? As many hours as there are until I die. Okay, well, that's probably probably not that long. A character will die pretty quick. I won't die. All I, right. I am. I am. I've taken every precaution. I have every piece of. Oh God, this sounds really cope. Oh God, this could age really bad. And like every being like, oh, I'm so happy. I made it to forty. I just got my mount. <laughs> dead. Yeah. I didn't even have my mount for two levels, and I I finally got my mount again. Yes. Yeah, oh God. And I hope this is an age poorly too. I kept. <laughs> oh, I kept. God. I kept not even remembering to use it because I'm so. I wasn't, I never even got to get used to having it. Yeah. I, I still just walk places because I forget that I have it. Yeah. I just put somebody on follow and they take me wherever I want to go. You know what? Fuck it. There's no way I've died. There's no fucking yeah. way. I'm not no way stupid. You die. I would never die. Okay. There's no way. Because I've gone half damage gear, half tank gear. Right. And that's how I level. I have this chest piece where anytime I get hit, I have a 3% chance of healing for 100, which is insane. Oh, yeah. I love that shit. And then that's I have, nice. I already have my Lionheart True helm. True still breastplate or whatever? Yep. Yeah. And then I have my Lionheart helm. That's waiting for me at 56. 58. 56. Are you sure? Pretty damn. I don't know. It's 50, I thought it was 58. Maybe 56. We'll see. I could be wrong. I'm pretty damn excited about it. Yeah. Uh, it looks so goddamn good. 2% hit, 2% crit. Looks good as fuck. And I uh, got my flurry axe. And I'm ready to go, baby. I'm ready to lock the fuck in. And I refuse to be top DPS. I will not. Why? It's the first person to die. Okay. That's smart. Yep. I'm going to say middle of the pack. Wait, for... Top DPS is first person to die. Yep. Yeah, not yeah, a the, healer. Well, it's like aggro, That's good right? News well, no, for no, me. you'll be dead before the top <laughs> oh, DPS. Yeah. yeah, so it goes tank, healer, DPS. Wait, tank is before healer for yeah, dying. Yeah, tank. So thank God, people keep telling me healer is most likely to die. Uh, well, I mean, it depends it, on who depends. your tank is. Oh, I and I'm, I'm going to go on record on this. I don't think Soda should be main tank. I think he's great, but I think we have Sony and Wake. We should use Sony and Wake as the two tanks. I feel uh -huh. like Soda should be trash tank. Uh, and I feel like that should be our yeah. decks. I mean, Sony, first of all, those are the two sexiest men. Sony in our knows guild. what he's doing. Exactly. Yeah. And Wake. Wait, so what makes tanking so much harder than the other classes? Like, you have to like, react it, to nothing. situations? Okay, it's really, no, it's oh. really not harder. Oh. It's just, it's more important. More yeah. important. Because that, that if you sense. fuck it up, people are going to die. But is it's there, really is there easy. Is there a lot of ways to fuck it up or not yes, really? Yes, there's a lot of ways. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, but mainly, I mean, so like, for example, like if you're like playing you'd a war tank. You'd be surprised. There, I've been with tanks that invent new ways. I didn't even know you could fuck it up this way. <laughs> yeah. Turns like out what? you can. Like, like, for example, like a tank walks around pulling mobs, never hits them. And so he has a bunch of ads on them, and you assume. Oh, and so you assume that they're aggroed and they're exactly. not. Exactly. Like when you, you heal pull, them and then they all run to you, then you're dead. Yeah. Like when, they pull, when a tank pulls something, they need to fucking hit it. Or at least say, hold up on aggro. Don't do anything yet. Haven't established. That's why comms are really important. Like that's why you pulled threat because a lot of the mobs that you were around on the boat were not hit. Mm. So you cast one spell and then pff, over to you. Yeah. I have a threat meter now, so it should, good. that should help too. Good. 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 And now. A word from our sponsors. Picture this. It's a dark, rainy day. You're walking over to your friend's house to play Magic the Gathering. But the storm gets you. Now, you're drenched. Socks are soaking wet. And you're crying. <laughs> Water's everywhere. Luckily, with today's sponsor, Vessi, a travesty such as this can be completely avoided. Vessi has created a series of stylish, 100% waterproof shoes and other clothing that can help turn rainy days into something to look forward to. Using the power of advanced Dimatex technology, the days of avoiding walking through puddles are over. Asmongold, show them. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Emmy? It's the same thing again. Look at that, clean shoe, no water. You can walk through the ocean with those things. What you just saw was the power and elegance of the Soho sneakers and the Ulta high tops. In addition to these shoes, you can also snag their overcast jacket, such as Asman has here. They even have an all weather beanie and they even have waterproof gloves. And let me tell you, they look quite snug. And speaking of all this water talk, Do it. <sighs> Vessi also makes it their mission to help provide fresh water where it's needed the most. So you're also supporting a great cause. Don't get drenched this rainy season. Become the chosen water bender you were born to be with Vessi. You can visit Vessi.com forward slash steak eggs to grab your own Vessi gear today. That's V-E-S-S-I dot com forward slash S-T-E-A-K-E-G-G-S. -G -G Link in the description. Thanks, Vessi, for sponsoring our podcast. I'm also under the firm. I, I, I still can't tell if Ms. faked his death or not. I believe you, in Ms. too much. As Ms. is my best friend in the whole world. Okay. I, I believe in him too much for him to... Uh, play like that much of a fucking I don't, idiot. You, you, you said you watched Soda's reaction to it, right? Yep. I think he's right that like he, in his brain was many conflicting thoughts and he didn't want to die, but he like wasn't sure what to do then just ended up trying something and it didn't work. Yeah, because the moment he started that quest, he was dead. Absolutely. Now, once again, if he played yeah. properly from the start, he won, but the moment he wasted his intimidating shout, he's just dead. Because he could have, I mean, if you go through it play by play, there was a really easy way for him to live. The moment they come, you pop the intimidating shout, you single target one down for eight seconds, the other two come back, and then it's easy, you know? He also never did demoralizing shouting. He never reduced the damage. Um, he didn't. He he used retaliation, and he didn't get all the procs for it because he procced it too late when they were running at him. Just like misplay after misplay after misplay. And then when I see him charge back, I'm just like, holy fuck. Why Whenever would he that? did that, I thought to myself... Oh no, someone's running out of content. <laughs> but no, I, I don't know. I, I I actually am not certain that he died on purpose because I mean, Miz fucks up a lot. I mean, I could easily assume it's like kind of a weird thing. Like everybody says Miz sucks, but then whenever Miz does something that's wrong, everybody thinks it's fake. Well, what do you mean? Maybe that's you a just, good point. Yeah, maybe you just did something stupid. That's right, because he is really bad. But I just don't want to believe it because I hear it. I mean, he's not that bad. I mean, he's all right. He's, he's well, decent. Who's, he, who's he better than? I don't know. I mean, I guess, I mean, there's people out there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be people out there. Yeah, probably half the people in my raid. Whenever I raid in like Wrath, hey, like bro. I'd say he's probably better than them. Oh, okay. I was about to say the Roaches. Yo, the Roaches. I think like he's like just one of those players. And I mean, there's players like this for in every game where it's like they have decent game knowledge and they could be good. It's just that like they their impatience or like they just choose they not just to don't whichever really give a fuck yeah they don't really give a fuck i understand it that's usually how i am 
I'm uh there's 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 murmurings going around the guild uh-huh. where people want to make a petition. For what? Me not sucking balls. What do you mean? Everybody who I've tanked for, uh huh, they wanna they wanna sign it and say Tectone did good. Really? Yep. And then after that, you know what I'm gonna do? How, how, how many people are in a position? Like there's like you and like uh rest? 32. I've tanked with 32 different people. 32. Wow. Yep. Everyone's gone great. No issues. And I mean that generally in Seer. Singing my praises. I love Kungus. Dude, yeah. it Sears been doing so amazing. You know what's great? What he's gonna he's about to do even better. So I have taught him how to not pull threat. I have taught him how to play safely in a dungeon. Soda came in after we did RFD, told us we did great. Which, by the way, I think I have like a mm -hmm. something's wrong with me. Yeah, because Soda shit talks me so much when he compliments me. I'm like. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, <laughs> he does that to a lot of people, though, doesn't he? Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, that's just I, how he is. I like it too much. I like it too much. Uh, but now Soda taught him about how to DPS properly. So Kungus is about to evolve. Yeah. Because, for example, he was serpent shotting when they had less than ten percent HP. Yeah, yeah. Which is just like sure. You don't he put a he put a damage over time on them when they were about mm -hmm. to die, which is just fucking pointless. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he would melee weave and hunter. To where he would shoot a shot, walk up, hit him. Oh, you back can out. do that. It works pretty well, but it's like super hard to pull off. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't pulling <laughs> yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah, you can do that off. if you're really good, not if you're new. Yeah, uh, but now we're gonna teach Seer how to pump, and uh -huh. I and I and I like what Seer Soda is doing because Soda geared up what he thinks is the worst player, so that way if anybody else fucks up, he can be like, "Fucking Seer didn't fuck up. How did you, dumbass?" Yeah, that's a good point. It's yeah. genius, and I called it. Uh, six days ago, I knew what he was doing. I was like, why the fuck would Soda give only Seer 2,000 gold worth of gear out of nowhere? Because he wants the ability to shit talk anybody else who fucks up. That's not Seer. Makes sense. Naturally. It's crazy though that yeah. Seer's completely new and made it to 45 without dying once. 40. 40? Yeah, 40. I thought he was 45 now. No, he's 40 and then he mm -hmm. logged off because he said, and I quote, I'm not going to play WoW on the fucking weekend. <laughs> and then he went out and he went 6th Street. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't think he's playing today either, which I really need him to because I'm because I'm 45 now and I'm going to I'm gonna carry him through all of Scarlet Monastery again because I'm not stopping grinding that until I get the fucking tabard because I need Ooh. that tabard. So it's the coolest. Yeah. The fucking coolest. We tab. have a rule uh, in my guild that if you're not wearing my tabard, you're kicked out of the guild. Even if they have the Scarlet Monastery one? Yeah, uh, yes. And uh, so... Mm -hmm. There's like a thing. We have a Discord channel and it's called Snitches. And uh. so if you post a screenshot of somebody who's like over level 20 in the guild without a tabard on, we just kick them out of the guild. I snitched on Miz yesterday. For what? I, uh, <laughs> I was telling Soda how much I liked the event. You know, uh, So been... you admit it. Oh yeah, I'm admitting it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm admitting it. So I, I go on to, because whenever an event goes really well and I actually enjoy myself, I like thank the person who invited me because I feel like that's just common etiquette. You know, yeah. thank the person who did an event and sort of worked really hard on that event. Sure. I said, yo, great event. Fucking awesome. Really cool. Can't wait to see your reaction to Miss Gift dying. And he's like, what do you mean he died? <laughs> I'm like, oh, 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 oh fuck yeah, dude. Oh, he was yeah, pissed. like it's crazy because when he died, everyone yeah. was like, hey, we just had a meeting. Let's like get the fuck off our computers and leave. So no one knew. Yeah. I, I I felt bad because like I'm the one who told Tectone basically. We, yeah. we were all out getting food and I was messaging Grayson about the Valorant thing. And he was like, oh, also like Miz just died. And I was like, what? Like what? I thought it was just Grayson like, lying and yeah. I went and looked and he was dead and so I was like I was like oh my god Miz just died everyone was like what <laughs> pulls out their phone and then I this fucking jackass messages soda right away yep absolutely That's oh, not right away but I, yeah. I when I got home yeah. uh, did, you, did you see the reaction image of everybody's reaction when he saw Miz get died no let me see if I can find it for you real quick really 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 good uh, let me see if I can scroll up here this is very important it is <laughs> Da, da, da. Holy fuck, this guild talks too goddamn much. It actually is crazy how many people Classic WoW have brought together. Like, everybody's talking, everybody's having fun. The amount of good people I've met due to WoW... Well, is, it's a very social game. I think that's yeah. the reason why, is that, yeah, well, Classic WoW is extremely social. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, man. It's just, it, it makes me so fucking happy. Yep, I cannot find it. It's on the internet somewhere. It's good as fuck. Unlucky. Oh, yeah. I felt pretty bad whenever I saw Miz die, but it was like, that's just what you get. Like, he, he fucked up. That's uh, life. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Uh, and I, I'm excited to see more people die, to be honest. Yeah, I'm probably going to be next happen. because uh, uh, roaches have been inviting me to uh, tank dungeons. They will kill you. Yeah, my you should not do that. My, my view, you have to understand that, like, my viewers, a lot of them are good, but some of them aren't. 
Yeah, like the, <laughs> the, remember the clip where Soto almost died? He was playing with randoms. Yeah, but they're, but they're not randoms. They're the roaches, man. Uh, you know, yeah. they're just, uh, they're Asmon bald viewers. Well, I shouldn't say randoms. People that he doesn't, that he is not familiar with. That's oh, true. we have not vetted these people at all. <laughs> like there is no selection <laughs> process. There is nothing to it other than, do you want to join the guild? They're, yep. All right. You're in. There it is. Yep. Oh, fuck. I yep, need to get to leveling. I need to join for one day so I can make like 3,000 gold in one day. Yeah. Just be like, hey, roach out. Guild I'm collecting gold for Asmon. And then you just leave? Yep. Yeah. I collected uh, 900 off your name. Wow. Very good. Holy and, shit. And then I've collected 2,500 just off of my name by uh -huh. writing people's names on my, my faces. And uh, I took one of your ideas. Yeah, about writing, yeah. That's the, a good uh, one, right? Everybody gives me money. Whoever donates the most, they get half the pot. Yeah. And then I did it for so long, people forgot about that. So and then I just you just did... took the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, like, like, oh, all right, guys, guys, thing. I gotta go. All right. <laughs> yeah. just, oh, look at the time. Yeah, like, oh, fuck, guys. Gotta get to that ZF run. Yeah. Here we go. That shit is such a scam. That's yeah, crazy. It's good. <laughs> but I'm using it for good. I'm buying, uh, like, I'm, I'm gonna attempt to get, well, Hito and Eighth will stay on their staff of Jordans. Uh -huh. So they can gear up. Because that's the thing that I really think people need to understand about Classic WoW is that it's really not about, and people will disagree, I don't care. It's not about getting you geared. It's about getting everyone in your group geared. Mm -hmm. Because as much as you're relying on yourself, you need to rely on these other people as well. And like, eventually you'll get to a point where you're good and everything else is icing on the cake. We want to get a point to where everybody's good because that's where the most overall DPS will occur. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm hoping to get towards. And I'm hoping that mentality is shared, but we're streamers. Everybody has an enormous ego, myself included. And uh, I know people are going to try to min-max fucking hard, but I am not going into any raid without my pre-bis. I'm going to get every single fucking piece. Uh, if I were to kill anybody in the raid, I would not forgive myself. I would. Cool. I probably forget the, uh, by this point. I have to forget who would I kill. I don't remember. Oh shit! Who, yeah, I have no idea. But you gotta understand. <laughs> if you kill somebody, people go lol. Yeah. <laughs> if I kill somebody, people would get really upset. Oh, yeah. Yep. People would get really mad if you kill somebody. <laughs> they like would that rain would rain hell on you. Yep. Yeah, that would be like, uh, would I suck. knew, I didn't believe those Genshin players. Yep. I should have listened to the haters. Yep. I mean, I'm being dead ass. Yeah. Everything I do has been underneath the microscope. Everywhere I go, bro. It's yep. exhausting. Oh, yeah. fuck. Well, if I get someone killed, they'll be like, it's okay, I mean, you did nothing wrong. <laughs> hey, no. You're new, it's okay. <laughs> yep. I mean, I didn't even kill Nianners, and people yeah. are still saying it's my fault. Oh, yeah. Which is insane, because I actually, I reviewed the VOD. And uh, she told me that she told me she was going to go to fight some of the mobs. Uh -huh. And I'm like, that didn't fucking happen. So I searched her pod for 30 minutes and I found out where she said it. I was in the bathroom. Ooh. So she said it while I was AFK and she knew I was AFK because she was making fun of me for pooping for two minutes. Ooh, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah. But so it's actually her fault. That being said, I did still send her a, a best in slot level 29 blue robe and 100 gold as an apology. Uh -huh. And I also uh, helped power level her back up to 30. So she, Jesus. I mean, she died at 17. Oh, who cares? That takes like an yeah. hour. Yeah, it's, it's not, not a big deal. deal. It's like no, it's five not. hours, now, but I, it's not a big deal. It's actually less. It's if, less. If I killed somebody above 40, oh my God, that's taking away three days of their life. Yeah. 17, that's an hour. Even, I mean, fuck, Canute got to 15 in two and a half hours. Jesus. Fucking Canute. <laughs> You're doing a great job too, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm gonna probably level up a second character and then I'll do dungeons with that second character. Fuck yeah. But I'm not gonna tank. I'm just okay. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, fuck that. The people, the tanks always die. Yep, main tank. They always main die. Bitch. Main bitch, yeah. Yep, well, fuck it's that. just they're disposable. <laughs> yeah. It's like you see the the hunters and rogues and uh, mages just roaching out, running away. <laughs> oh God, get out of here! Meanwhile, the boss is killing the tank, killing the healer, killing probably one other DPS, and then they're gone. Yep. Yeah, that's what happens. No, I understand it very well. Yeah, because like no fucking. That's why I'm a warlock. When when everything I'm, starts I'm getting out. when everything starts getting out of control, and you're the tank, what do you do? You can't. You have to hearth out. Is that just Petri? Yeah, you just, you leave. I guess pop a cool down, leave just party. Leave, Petri, just, Petri. Yep, leave, leave out, of, leave the whole party, leave everybody to die. Do people yeah. have like a leave party macro or it's like you have to do it manually? I don't even know if you have a macro. I just cook it off, right? Uh, I mean, I, yeah, I have no idea. You probably, I'm, I'm sure there probably is a macro. But yeah, that's what I would do. I just immediately leave the party because it's like, 
I'm not going to die for somebody else's mistake. Like I'm, well, I'm not okay with dying to my own mistake, but I'm especially not okay <laughs> with dying to somebody else's. Yeah, yeah that so sucks. I, I try it's not to, uh, to I let mean, that happen. I mean, okay. So I said this before the podcast started, yeah. full disclosure. I genuinely feel like there's no way to die if you're not an idiot. Well, right. that's the thing about classic wild players. Right. Yeah. yeah, but a lot of people that have died recently are like um, considered like really good wild players exactly. or speedrunners. Yeah, but like, they can be idiots. Like being yeah. a good player doesn't mean that you can't be an idiot. Yeah. Right? Like people make mistakes. Like people fumble footballs at the Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, it happens. Like mistakes happen, but these are dumb mistakes. Yeah. Like yeah. everybody's awake, everybody's alert. And by the way, if we start raiding and people are just like just woke up and they're getting in there, fuck that. Yeah. They need to warm up for they're like, like two reading hours. donations while they're healing. Absolutely not. Like yeah. turn <laughs> that shit off. Cause like, oh my God, dude. I, I know the 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 rage of soda. I have seen that on many people. You know, he did that to me when I played Dark and Darker, which I really need soda to stop reacting to my shit when I'm playing casual games oh, casually. Yeah. Oh my God. That is, you know how frustrating it is to have your gameplay scrutinized when you're just fucking around with your buddies? Good God, it's so fucking frustrating. <laughs> maybe, you should have, maybe you shouldn't be having fun on the job. Huh? Yeah, don't <laughs> yeah, stop yeah. having fun. What's the problem? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. Also, uh, I met uh, Poke the other day. Uh -huh. uh, first time talking. Actually, a really nice, fun guy. I took really? His yeah, I took his Is he leveling? Seven. Yeah. He is. He's 60. What is he? How? Yeah. He's Holy just, shit. Is CG boosted? My man. Yep. <laughs> yeah. My man. Wait, what, is, is. what does that mean? ZG boost. So at uh, level 50, you can start getting these things called ZG runs where you just AFK in a raid and you'll have a mage like soloing the trash mobs and you'll get like a free level every hour and a half. Oh, damn. And you just pay them to boost you. So you get a really good mage and they boost you. Can you do that in hardcore? Do people do that? Yep. People do that. Yep. A lot nice. of people do that in hardcore. A lot of people. I'll do that. Yep. It's so fast. I, I just, my goal is to, again, do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, people say uh, 40 to 60 is like, hell, no, it's not. It's the fastest levels in the game if you have money. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you have money. Like, if legit, you're a streamer, it's easy. Straight up. Like, you just buy all the necklaces, 40 yeah. to 50, done. Level 50, ZG, AFK, be I done. Was, I don't think I'm going to do any of that. I want to I think you should try it just to see it. Like, one run. Well, well, here's what like, you should do. Well, you, you should, should like experience the game, and if you die again, then you should power level. True. Oh, yeah, that's what I've been doing is like, I'll Power play, I play the, the levels you, myself. Yeah. Like I have played to level 42, but it's like, I'm not going to do it again. I've already done it. Yeah, I know? get it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, me personally, I just like going into Naga Caves uh -huh. and then I just fight three at a time and I shit stomp them. I, I don't know why. The questing is so fucking boring. And like, there's no, there's no way I'm not getting more combat experience being a Terminator. Speaking of which, Terminator is getting an anime. That's crazy to me. Terminator is getting what? an anime? Yep. What? Yo, on Netflix. Oh I'm making a Terminator God. anime. Uh, and hold on, I have, I have a whole list here. Avatar The Last Airbender is getting a new series. Terminator anime series. Devil May Cry is getting an anime. I'm very excited about that one. That I am a cool. former edgy that. boy who thought Dante was the coolest dude. It's because he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I'm more of a Virgil guy. Also, dude, the soundtrack. The Bury the Light. Oh, yeah. Have you heard that shit of me? Yeah, I have. Oh, my God. What a fucking song. That's going to be sick. And then also uh, AOT ended, uh, which in case, you know, you've seen it, it's like, it has Code Geass's ending, but it's worse. Uh, what is your shame? I can't believe what they did to that series. A lot of people like it. That's fine. But oh, I just did you like not like the Code Geass ending? Code Geass? You didn't like it? Huh? You didn't like Code Geass? No, I, I did. But I, what do you think about the ending? I don't really oh, no, remember I was like, Code Geass's well. ending is incredible. You know, it was like one of the first ever animes to do what it did. But AOT Yeah, Dream I is, liked it. You just like, didn't like how they did it in AOT? Yeah, they just copied it. Yeah, because the characters' intentions don't make any sense at the end. Obviously, mm. the beginning of the series is so goddamn good, but I, I'm a big ending guy. You know, I'm not going to enjoy sex if I get an STD afterwards. And that's kind of how it felt oh, like watching yeah. AOT. You know, 80% of it was good. The last 20% just made no fucking sense. Uh, and uh, it pissed me off. Could have been way better. And maybe I'm being a hard ass, but I just feel like AOT had so much more potential. It's still like a 7.5 or like an 8.2, but it could have been like a 9, 9.5 and, and above. It was had so much potential. For one of the most beloved series of all time, I just I just wish it was taken a little bit more seriously. But uh, it's because I'm a fucking loser. Uh, I was saying something important, and then I got distracted by time. I only later. watched like the first one or two seasons of Attack on Titan. You'll love it. Same. You'll, yeah. love it. You'll yeah. fucking yeah. love it. Really? Oh, it's so okay. goddamn good. Yeah, yeah, like and, and, I, I liked what I saw so far. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. So it, it has a lot of. It's very complicated because it starts uh -huh. off one way, 
yeah. midway, it goes a completely different way. I could kind of see that happening. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Because uh, I don't know if this is true or not. This is the straight up, I could be speaking out my ass. Mm -hmm. I was under the impression that there are articles that say it was supposed to end in the first season. I was told it was supposed to just everybody dies because, yeah, you know, and I can see that. I can see that being a direction. Yeah, I, I kind of expect that that's the way it would end. I, yeah. I assume that probably, probably it's not exactly what happens, but you know, like I don't, you know, I don't know yet. Yeah, I, 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 I thought I heard something about it was going to be a tragedy. Everybody was going to die, and I think that would have been fucking awesome. Like, uh, like a Kame got killed. A yeah, Kame, sure. Everybody just gets fucking slaughtered. Everybody's dead. And the series is like 15 years old. If you haven't seen it. It's it's not that good anyways. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, it, it is so good. There's so much action. Now, there is a character in it called, uh, uh, oh God, I think it's Reinhardt. I think. The Reiner. Reiner. Reiner, who's incredible from episode one to the end. Uh, and it's a very complex series, but like it has a really good thing going on. Like the first two seasons are like battling in mechs. Uh -huh. And then season three and beyond is like uh, political. Okay. So it becomes a political th a thriller. Yeah. Which uh, I don't like at all. Not that it's not good. I just I thought it was. We weird have enough the of those in real life. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I don't know. I, I the last anime I watched, I watched the cyberpunk anime. Have y'all seen that? Yeah, it was great. I've seen some of it, but I didn't finish it. I want. I actually, I finished it. This is very rare. I actually finished the show. It was a good show. I mm -hmm. was surprised how good it was. Yeah. Because I played Cyberpunk recently, and it was actually a, it was really fucking good. Yeah, I, I was amazed. Yeah, you, will you beat it? No. Oh, okay. Of course not. Did you get uh, Did you get a superpower? The slow down time one? Uh, the San Devastan? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. Do you like that shit? Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. Do you think know you can do with that? No. So you can be driving in a car and then you can activate his chip and you slow down time. And then you can get out of the car while it's driving, kill three people, then get back in the car yeah. and continue driving. What the fuck? It is so cool. Like, so the game, like, I remember whenever it came out, it was like such a piece of shit. It was a joke. Yeah, I and remember then, that. Yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was one of the uh, game, game developer apology, you know, pictures. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, recently they came out with an update and like there's the DLC and it was like insanely fucking good. Like, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? How, how, I was surprised that it was that good. Because especially I had just finished Starfield at the time. And that game, <laughs> it really, um, it was like wearing wet socks. Yep. Yeah, it's, that's basically what Starfield was like. Sick. Yeah, it was really, really, really <laughs> fucking bad. I haven't played it. So bad. I, I didn't play it either, but I, I watched streams with the day it came out. And I remember just being like, this is so not interesting. And I don't know what the fuck's going the on. Starfield? Yep. Yeah. I remember playing, yeah, I, I remember I would be playing it and I'd be asking myself, what are you doing with your life? Where's your life going? What's going to happen in the future? Damn. What happens after you die? What happens five minutes after now? Are you going to be any farther along in anything in the next 30 minutes? <laughs> Dude, what, you had the game. Yeah, like, I mean, just, I know it was depressing. like, I'm sure it was like the beginning, but it was just no, it so was much fucking yapping about like the most boring shit. I hate when games like that try to like world build by just referring to a bunch of different things you've never heard of and expecting you to remember. Oh yeah, my, exactly. thank you, bro. It's so annoying. Yeah. It's, it's the lore. It's Fuck like, that. It's, like huh? to... it's like, I don't know what this is and I don't care. You like, why, why would I care? Yet. You can't play the game yet. You've got to watch a 30 minute exposition about the yeah, last 2000 like, years like, of the okay, story. Why, why do I care about that? Or why is it relevant to the character or the gameplay? Well, I just yep. don't, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Like, I like stories that don't exist. Those are my favorite. Like what? Dark Souls. Sto oh, like yeah. there's just a bunch of like, yeah. Gaps and, in and if you want to figure out what happens, go ahead. And if you don't, that's fine. Yep. I, I will say with the cyberpunk story, that shit was crazy. Like, I was actually surprised. Like, I... It's the anime or the game? The, the beginning of the game. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how much Which did you pick? Uh, the, um, the Poor, like, Outrider. Rich. Outrider guy. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I forgot what even what it was called, but Poor yeah. Like that. Yeah, Nomad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's the one I picked. It was sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was really good. Like, I, I like that. I, I just, I hope that more games come out that are like actually good story games and aren't super safe. You, you played know? Fable? What, say what? Fable. I only played the first Fable. Yeah. I didn't play, I haven't played any of the other ones after that. I heard Fable 2 was really good and Fable 3 sucked. I like Fable 3. I thought it was okay. good. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm super biased. Mm -hmm. I, that was just like the only game I had. Played like 13 times. 
I just want to see, like, I like games whenever I know that they're not pulling punches. You know, I, I hate games and I hate content that, like, I feel like it's safe. Yeah. You know, it's like you can't see some crazy-ass shit happen. Dude, you want to see crazy-ass shit? What's that? Watch a World of Warcraft classic stream where people in Discord voice at 4 a.m. The uh, shit they're saying is crazy. Oh, I know what they're saying. They're yeah. in my guild. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bro, my God. People are so out of pocket in that shit. Oh, yeah. I know. And, and like, you've got to remember, like, they're toning it down because they're on stream. Yep. You know, like, so if you go and you talk to them off stream, like, this is like a whole fucking thing about, <laughs> like, you're going to learn about how there's, like, they have a bunker and there's like the earth isn't like really round and like, you know, there's a bunch of stuff. Yeah. There's the aliens. Oh, absolutely. Like classic WoW players. Like I remember, um, I, I actually, so I said, jump up and down. This is the guild name. Jump up and down if you think the 2020 election was rigged. <laughs> and a few people didn't start, weren't jumping. There's only a, a few people that started jumping. And I was like, no. Yeah. Turned out the server was bugged. Because I was like, there's no way that yeah. everybody isn't jumping if this is classic World of Warcraft. Yeah, that was, um, you were in, you were in Stormwind. We were in the cathedral. Yep. And there were so many people there, we despawned every NPC in the city. That's so cool. And so we, yeah, we had everybody log off. Because like, I, we don't, we don't want to kill people accidentally. We want to kill them on purpose. Yeah. So we like. Do it at Iron Forge. Make it fall in the pit. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Stand on the anvil. Uh -huh. People will lag out, run in the pit. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, there's actually, have you been told how to fix that if you, in case you do fall in the pit? No. Yeah, if you're in Iron Forge, you fall in the lava pit, log out immediately uh, and then unstuck and then you'll teleport out. What is unstuck? Oh, like you message the devs or whatever? That there's like an unstuck way. There's, uh, there's an unstuck uh, bungle port, right? I'm not even sure. I have no okay. idea. I've never even had mm -hmm. to do it. Because I, okay. I got stuck once before, but I thought I had to like mess, like, I don't even remember what I did. Yeah, there's a button that you used to have to message the developers. Oh, okay, that's what and it is. now uh, they don't have anybody uh, that does uh, customer service there. What? And so, yeah, yeah, there's they don't do that you anymore. You don't need to message them in here by the light of a loon. Yeah, yeah. If you get somebody like that, that's like it's like a miracle. Okay. Usually, you'll like be logging in between your characters, and they'll wait until you're logged off to message you and be like, "Oh, sorry, we couldn't catch you when you're on. <laughs> by the way, can't solve your problem." Great. Thanks for playing. Make sure to fill out the survey. Give us fives. Yeah, if I were ever to die to a layering or a bug, I would break I'd be my furious, PC. man. I'd be so fucking upset. Yep, because they they won't fix it. If you die hardcore, you're done. You're done. You're it's it's over and that's it. It's it. You're done forever. I'm really hoping Seer just kills me. Really? Because if <laughs> Seer kills me, I'll be like, that's okay, buddy. Uh -huh. you, you, learning experience. You did your best. You exactly. Really tried. I can't be angry at Seer. How the yeah. fuck are we angry at Kungus? You should have seen like the comments. Everybody was so mad at Miz whenever you died. They were Dude, so. Bro, it was like actual like. Were, this is like a a right. They're like, we hate him in real life. Cr like yeah, I, this I, is, I get. I like, knew everything bad I knew about him. This confirmed it. It's like I, as a as a viewer, it's like okay, sure. It's like okay, a streamer does something. It's like annoying. Like you guys have to start over. I don't want to watch this. Like I get that. Yeah. But some people were like fucking deranged. Like it's not that big of a deal. It's like a character in a video game, and it's not even your character. Oh yeah, no, it's, this it's is crazy. Oh, it goes even farther than that. Like, and in my opinion, like yeah, obviously all that's true. But I'm sorry, but I love revving them up. I do. I love farming them. It's so fucking funny why? to me. You want me to rev them up right now? Go ahead. I think he did it intentionally. Oh my God. Tell you why? Hey, here's a question. Dude. Which no. death do you think was a better fake? Epstein or Miz? <laughs> <laughs> no, but hear me out. Here's, here's my tinfoil hat theory. He's trying to find yeah. a clip of him saving Emmy. You'll notice he cast challenging shout. At the last Dude, split second. Dude, this is second. actual like conspiracy <laughs> yeah. theory Facebook post. At the last split second, he cast Challenge Out as, in order to seem like a hero, but he right. forgot that if a caster is locked onto a target, it even if you toss him, yeah, it doesn't still goes through. What's the only thing she died to? One fireball. Yep. So he was <laughs> trying to true. be a hero, and in, in turn, he became the villain. Yep, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it was all according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> he set it's out like to do this from the very beginning. Yeah. I've been calling uh, Ms. Agenda Kiff lately. Agenda Kiff? <laughs> it's 
so oh funny God. to me. Because Viz right now, I can tell, he's fucking so mad at me. It's yeah. so, yeah, I fuck with him so much. It's my favorite thing to do because he has such good reactions. We RP'd for like five hours the other day when he was on Rumble. Dude, that's what I tell him. Like, yeah. I'll be like, you know, like, People do these things because you react to them so strongly. He's like, oh, I know. That's why I do it. And it's like he t- keeps doing it and gets mad. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, he's, he's my favorite. He's, he fucks with me a lot too, but I, I love fucking with him so much. And uh, yeah, he was so mad. I snitched on him. I was like, bro, 40,000 people saw you die on public access. Oh, yeah. Internet. yeah. No, in my stream, people were like, you know, they would have saw it anyway. It's like, yeah, we, we know. We're, we're joking. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But some people were actually <laughs> mad at you about this. Like, wait, did you actually think Soda wouldn't have heard? I know. If Tecton didn't do that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, it was going to be a secret. Like, Miz, why are you leveling a new character? It's the same as your old character. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just yeah. in case. Yeah. I was yeah. bored. Yeah, yeah. It's, I think a lot of viewers can't tell, like, one, when like streamers are bantering between each other, especially if it's like angry banter. And two, like a lot of the jokes, I think just like they actually like take it way too seriously. Yeah. Nah, I, I like me and Mrs. relationship a lot. It's like, uh, it's like abusive siblings. Mm-hmm. It's like, I feel right. It's like I'm back at home. It's oh, you so should good. see like any of my comments. Like, because a mm-hmm. lot of the basically, I, I know Emmy feels bad about this, right? Like that guy that got harassed. Oh yeah, I, I felt really bad when he said that. Like people were sending him like basically death. Threats. Yeah, those were my viewers. I was like, bro, yeah, it's those not mine. that fucking so, serious. Like it's just what he was do. just there. Yeah, and like, but he like could, even if like he like I don't even remember like the analysis. Like even if he like say he did fuck up, like he could okay. he could he could have done. He could probably save you. If he had played it perfectly, but like it's not really. Yeah, his but fault. it's like no one played it perfectly. Yeah, there, exactly. So. And, and but he didn't. Uh, but yeah, no, it's like people are going crazy. And I, I'll read the, the YouTube comments are the ones where people are like really unhinged. Dude, Those I I always ones. just say like YouTube comments are like not people like I'll, past like the top ten. It's like every time like someone like some streamer or content creator like try, mm-hmm. talks to me they're like about YouTube comments I'm like bro like those are not even people like you should not be reading those that's that's how I feel I don't know I think the people saying why do you care so much that Emmy died those oh here's the one fuckers. here's one this is about Emmy this is on my channel I love how Imaru caused a fight between two men without even doing anything this is a woman's bro. passive. I'm going to throw up. That is so <laughs> weird, bro. What the fuck? Uh, no. Just the normal classic WoW community. What the yep. fuck is that? Yep. Yeah, any, like... Well, when I say YouTube comments, I specifically mean, like, Twitch channel-related YouTube comments. Or mine. That's a Twitch channel-related. Mm. We should do a dungeon. Yeah? Yeah, all three of us. I'll tank it. Emmy heal it. You DPS it. Oh, God. And then we'll get uh, two DPS. We'll get, like, Jimmy here and, like, uh, Young Jeff or some shit. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Why don't we... We could get Miz and then, like, I could st- I could do something wrong and yeah. then frame Miz. Yeah. That way it looks like it was his fault. And then he would have killed all of us. Why don't we? That would be crazy. Can you imagine? That would be so crazy. Because who, who, is, who is Miz killed? He's um, killed Emmy, killed Fandy. He kill, how no, he, he didn't. How did he kill Fandy? He's oh, just that's... naming random people that have died. Wait, 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 is that a thing? I've been told it so much. No, no we didn't kill Fandy. Dude, Fandy was, he get, was, asleep. Fandy, was getting, oh Fandy was getting boosted and she like zoned out and got killed. Wait, I had clickbaited? You got yes. clickbaited, yeah. I've seen it so much. You did? I've seen it everywhere. Like, Fake Miz news. killed Emmy, Mills killed Fandy. Why does Miz hate women? <laughs> I'm yeah. like, oh, fuck, what is he doing? No, Fandy was playing, I think, with one other person mm-hmm. and she was just grinding was mobs and I... Uh, she like wasn't even like looking at her health bar and just died. Oh no, Jesus! I'm Sometimes just, you get got. I'm just that's like just the, what happens. Yeah, I'm just like the rest of them, man. I'm like the other roaches. Oh yeah, I mean this is uh, I I just I can't wait until the guilds like I I want to start seeing the death clips and everything because like what we do is like whenever somebody dies in the guild. We everybody just like spams rip bozo, get him the fuck out of here, yeah. kick this loser out, like get this piece Dude, of shit out of our guild. It's gonna be so fucking crazy. And then we just kick him out of the guild. Or like this isn't a guild for losers. <laughs> <laughs> I did that to my buddy last night. It was so funny. She got to level nineteen. Yeah, died to like a pig. Just like a fucking pig. Ooh. Everybody's like, oh, I feel so bad for you, Fitzy. And I'm like, yeah. no, you are fucking dog shit. Yeah, <laughs> go again. <laughs> Oh, it feels good, man. 
it does really, I will admit, it does really suck when one of your buddies dies that you were looking forward to playing with. Like, yeah. If Wake were to die, that uh -huh. would devastate me because I want to play with Wake so bad. Right. I also do want to do a dungeon with Miz. I genuinely do want to. So that, that also pissed me off when he died because we were like almost right there and I could have played with him too, which fucking sucks. I also want to play with young Jeff. Yeah. Really bad. So if they die, I will feel horrible. I just need people to stop dying. Like, just stop doing stupid shit. Go in groups. Don't do orange or red quests. Just fucking just slow do it the down. green quest. Just quest quickly yeah. and just do it. Get them done and then take it slow and steady. Do yep. the quest quickly, but everything else, just chill. I mean, I mean, it's generally like, like I did all of Scarlet Monastery, every single uh, graveyard, cathedral, armory, uh, library. We did it in 25 minutes. That was, that was, that was like 40% of our like, EXP bar. And it yeah. was easy. It wasn't even fast. Just like walk through, kill the mobs. Uh, it, it is very hard to just like, like for example, boats, boats, caves. They're just not designed right. You walk in, everything's on you. Just No, you just don't aggro it. That too. You just don't aggro the mobs. It's that easy. I don't see how people have such a hard time with this. Well, I mean, you just so, don't aggro the mobs. Well, there, I guess there's a scenario where like somebody's new, they go on a boat, they say there's nothing on the oh, top floor. If you're new, if you're new to the game, it's totally different, right? Yeah. Like I don't blame new players. Like, I see, like, I, and and I always get shit for this sometimes because, like, I'll tell people, like, you know, it's like some deaths are, in my opinion, kind of stupid, right? Like, there's, like, things that are kind of buggy or things that, like, you only would know this works this way if you've died to it before, you've seen somebody else die to it. It's like, this isn't really interesting in the game. It's, like, just some weird fucked up thing, right? There's, like, for example, there's, like, this bridge, right? And, like, the bridge is supposed to be like this, but the bridge is actually like this. So you can walk to this part of the bridge and walk through the bridge and fall down. Oh. What? Yeah. Where? Uh, it's in Searing Gorge. Okay, I'm not going to do that then. Yeah, you just make sure you jump on the bridge. What are the big no-no zones? All of them. Okay. Uh, Ungoro Crater is a big no-no zone. Don't say that. I've been wanting to go big, there so bad. big, no-no zone. Oh, yeah. Is it just because the the padding devil source? Yes. Yeah. Have you seen a devil source? No. You ever They're, seen Godzilla? Yeah. They're just They're walking like around. That. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yep. Yeah, there's some real big boys. And I mean, like, I mean, like, okay, this water bottle's you. Yeah. And then Wait, the they're that fucking big? No, no, no. Okay, you're the water bottle. I'm the devil sore. That's how huge these things yeah. are. Wait, that's so cool. No, it's like you're the size of their foot. And, and you they just, are big. You can just they fucking aggro fast. them and they just run at you. Yep. And they will eat your They'll they fear will, you. They they'll you kill you. Like, it's very. Very hard to solo one of them, even as a max level player. I mean, like, you can do it once you get really good gear, but mm. it's hard. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to fuck with that at all. Oh, I'm not going to do any of that. I, yeah. I like staying in dungeons and staying in caves, that, like, like predetermined caves. Where yeah. like, all of them are Nagas. All of them are Orcs. Because dungeons, I know what to expect. Out in the wild, anything can happen. And there are some times where you will just die, mm -hmm. and there will be nothing that you could have done. And I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel compelled to do that to subject myself. Yeah, that's why I think you're doing it right. Just completely yeah. being degenerate. Yep, yeah, exactly. Because like some people are applying the like, shameless degeneracy. Yeah, like people, people go on, they say, "Oh, don't boost, don't don't turbo grind, don't do this, don't do that." And I get it if you're new, but like if you've already played the game, what does it matter? Yeah, and also like if you've already played to like level fifty and you've done every dungeon, I really don't see what's so bad about skipping a couple levels and just getting to more predicted dangerous content rather than random dangerous content. Yeah, I feel like you just play how you want. I mean, Soda said it like right when the guild was made. Mm -hmm. He said like I don't care how you get to sixty and you do whatever you want because people are going to assume you got carried anyway. Yep. So there's no point because when you get to fifty eight, that's true. You get to fifty eight, you die to what is it called? Blood of the hero. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's, let's say you die to the random rune. Some other guy clicks it. You get slowed down by 90%. Mm -hmm. You die to skeletons. What'd you learn? Don't go to Eastern Plaguelands. Should have boosted. That's about it. <laughs> Shouldn't have played hardcore WoW. Yeah, exactly. Should have yep. just fucking boosted. Fuck that. No, I know. It, it's bad, right? I mean, I, I, I am so excited to see the raids. I'm going to be honest. Like, I am so excited. Because whenever somebody makes a mistake, I am going to fucking just go down at like 0.25% speed, watch it frame by frame. 17 different POVs. Oh, yeah. And just I'm like, I'll, I'll watch them mess <laughs> up. Absolutely. Will you watch the runs if they go well? Uh, yeah, I still will, I guess. If, if, if they're live. But you I probably guess. Won't. Yeah. He's disappointed. Oh, no. I mean, well, why do you watch NASCAR? For the crashes. Exactly. Yeah. It is what it is, right? You want to see that. 
So yeah, that's what I'm hoping happens. I hope some crazy <laughs> ass shit happens. Like I, I can only imagine. Th- imagine a full guild wipe in molten core. I hope that's what happens. A full wipe. Because here's the thing. What do we even do dies. after that? No, I'm okay with that. Like, if, yeah. like, for example, I'm okay with a meteor hitting the earth and us all dying at once. Okay. Because the only reason why I fear death is yeah. knowing that people will get to enjoy things and I'm not there. I don't get to enjoy those uh-huh. things. If I were to die, I realize, oh my God, these people are going to continue playing and I'm not a part of that. Right, yeah. And it feels terrible. If we were to all wipe the Ragnaros, fuck it. We'd probably like Gar. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect getting a rag. You don't think getting a rag? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's the last boss. Yeah, that's well, hard to get. Okay, let's let's be, let's be general. Molten core. I really don't think it's that hard. You're not. You're not wrong. Yeah, like, like there's, it's very hard to fuck that up. Ooh, like Baron, that's the thing. Baron, that's what you might not. Uh, the Baron's probably Baron's probably the hardest boss. Or who do you think no, is the hardest? No, no, because people can mess up every boss. Okay, because they're stupid, and you you need to understand that with classic WoW players. There is a depth of stupid. Have you ever looked at a chicken? Yeah. You see how stupid a chicken is? Yeah. Like you look really, you really look at them and you look at their eyes and you realize there's absolutely nothing going on. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically a classic wild player. There's nothing that's going to happen. Like it, it, they're never going to figure it out. I am curious. Yeah. I don't, it's a special breed of players. Who are, and I want, I'm going to ask you immediately, I mean, I just want you to say it the moment you think it, okay? Three players where they're, if you're, they're in your dungeon group from our guild, you are just not going to the dungeon. I don't know, I'll go. All of them? <laughs> as long, okay, I would honestly, I think, go with pretty much anyone as long as they weren't underleveled for the dungeon. What about people in my guild? Uh, no, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> is there anybody who you think is just absolutely like, if they're there, everybody's dying? Um, I could see McConnell killing me for content. Is he playing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. he's going to play. Yeah, I could see him killing me for content and then be like, oh, I didn't know they were going to be. Oh, what? Oops. You know what they're going to say, right? If you die and he kills you? You say it's my fault. Easy clap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. a day. That's what he gets. That's what he gets. See? Yeah, he thinks he's so special. I'm glad McConnell really, you know, gave him a reality check. Humbled Baldy. <laughs> yeah, humbled. Exactly. <laughs> I think the only person I'm genuinely horrified of is probably extra Emily. Yeah. She would have made it. Oh. Yeah. I thought you meant of like the people that are currently like able to do dungeons. Oh, they're like somebody catches up to us and like, uh, hey, Becky, I would love to do yeah, a dungeon. Yeah, I, I would be scared to do a dungeon with Emily. Yes. I, I thought we were talking about the people that are like grinding to get to 60. Yeah. No, yeah, I no, sh- there's, there's a lot of people under like 20 that are kind of just like joining to like see what's going on. Yeah. I don't think I would want to play with most of those people. I wouldn't play with Pokemon either. Mm-hmm. She's too mean. <laughs> <laughs> you see what she did? Wait, no. what she did? She watched the WoW vanilla opening animation with the dwarf and the bear. Yeah. And she was laughing and saying how bad it was. Uh-huh. That broke my heart. Wow. I well, love that cutscene. I don't know. That cutscene is one of the coolest trailers for any game ever. He walks up, he's in the snow, dwarf, bear comes, shakes off the snow. And there's the tauren. Is the tauren one where he like has the, the yeah, flowers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I think the Unna does the murloc kill. And there's uh-huh. the mage on the cliff. Bro, that trailer's so goddamn good. And it still looks good, but dude, 20 years ago. That's nuts. Yeah, it was oh, that, years. That years. trailer's twenty years old. It was yeah. probably about twenty oh, wow. years old. Yeah, something like that. I mean, I mean, just just genuinely think about it. It being two thousand three, you're ten years. I'm ten years. I'm ten years old. Magic: The Gathering is pretty new. World of Warcraft is new. Imagine if I was like eighteen, nineteen during that era, because that is just the good shit. Because WoW is still so good 20 years later. It's yeah. so fucking good. It's unbelievable. But just remembering, I feel so vindicated by how much that game had a clutch on my life for a decade. A decade. Oh, yeah. I didn't... Uh, like, everything in my life was built around playing video games, mainly WoW, and hanging out with my friends. Like, that was literally all I would do. That was, like, my job. I remember I would even schedule, like, I would put work availability around my raid times. Yes, sir. Uh, I would just, like, tell people, yeah, guys, I can't hang out. It's a raid night. And, oh, yeah, it was amazing. Like, and I never felt like I... I I don't regret it at all. 
It was Same. so good. Absolutely. I, I learned who I was in WoW. Yeah. I, I met some of the most influential people in my life from WoW. Uh, yeah. Even the way I play games. Mm -hmm. It's just so damn good. And I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm going to play Season of Discovery. Yeah. I think, and I don't sure. know. I don't know how stoked you guys are for that, but I'm, I'm hoping to play Horde. I would like to play Shamans. I'm hoping they just put Shaman on Alliance because mm -hmm. I'm worried that we're going to separate it. And then the people are like, oh, we have to play Alliance. I did. Just let me play a fucking Shaman, man. I just want to <laughs> play a fucking Shaman. They're the coolest. Bro, do you know do you know how happy I'd be if I was Fury Warrior and we had, even had a shaman on our team so I could get Wind Fury? That'd be crazy. Wind Fury is so sick. Given I like the human passive because the five extra hit rating is insane. But dude, just having a shaman, having the totems, having the class feel. Because that's why I love Warrior. Because I wasn't going to play Warrior. I was going to play Hunter just because I wanted to have a cat. I yeah. wanted to RP it like it was my pet Eggy. That's all I was going to do. But then Jimmy was like, oh, actually, I kind of want you to tank for me, man. And I'll if my buddies ask me to do something, I'm not going to say no. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, fuck it, made tank down. Uh, tank, which I caught it to Jimmy, and now we're playing together, and it's fucking awesome. Given, holy shit, red is bad. Yeah, what I is know. the point of red? It's there's no point. It, does it ever get better? No. So like, this is what a red paladin is like, and I've really thought about this for a long time. Is that red paladins are completely worthless? They offer nothing to the raid, and every single other class would be better than a red paladin. Yeah, what's wrong with them? Because I remember so Soda City wanted to ban it and people always talk about how useless they, they are. They just do bad damage. They don't do good damage. It's just that do, simple. Do they Do they provide yeah. Why don't anything? they just buff them? Well, because it's an old game. It's classic. Right? Yeah, no changes. Mm -hmm. and they Hashtag did no them. changes. Yeah, uh. they buffed them in like TBC. They're better in TBC and, and Wrath. And uh, Wrath, they were crazy. Yeah, Wrath, they went absolutely ape dick. Yeah, was I was pulling crazy. I, I think I was, I don't know if this is a lot. I was pulling 5.5k in Nax Ramus. Is that a lot? Uh, in Nax, it was. Okay, yeah, because I had Armageddon. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what Betrayer. Lit. What's Betrayer? Oh, good. What is that? This is the good axe from the last boss. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't get it either. I was on the last prio because I was uh, a problem boy. <laughs> <laughs> a problem child? Yeah, I, I caused a lot of problems in the guild. And I was like, in general, I remember whenever I won the roll on a mount, everybody in the guild got mad. They're like, oh God, no. Yeah. Can it, somebody else has to be able to roll, right? I mean, yeah. like, we're not really gonna... And I'm like, come on, guys, give it to me. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would ride it around. Oh yeah, it was a Wh good time. Which mount? Uh, the Drake from uh, Obsidian Sanctum. The purple one. Yeah. The Twilight Drake 25 the, the minute one. That is ugly as shit though. Yeah, I know. But like back then, I was like the only person that had it. Yeah, that is people. pretty cool. Yeah, I was I was a baller. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, that was that was good. And I'm trying to think like, yeah, Wretch, just, it's just trash. Like I would never play with a Rat Paladin. Does it offer utility? Well, yeah, but it doesn't offer any sort of unique utility that Holy Paladin doesn't provide anymore. Oh, so it is useless. Well, it, it's 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 useful, but it's less useful than everything else. Okay. So like also what is It's the like if you had a rock, okay? Yeah. Okay, so think like ret that's this is actually such a good way to look at. Rat paladins are like a rock. If you're trying to hammer in a nail, you can do it with a rock, can't you? Yeah. But it would be better to have a hammer hammer is way better. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you're trying to hit somebody with it, like you're trying to trying to kill somebody, you can throw them, hit them with a rock, you know, David and Goliath, right? Yeah. But a gun would be easier, <laughs> yeah. right? Or a sword or literally a stick even. Yep. Right? Anything. Um, if you're going to sit down, you can sit on a rock, right? <laughs> yeah, you could. But but a chair would be better. <laughs> That's right? true. Chair better. But a rock can do all of those things. Okay. So just not very well. That makes a lot of sense. And so rep paladins and guilds, they're like um like having a geared rep paladin in your guild is like having a really expensive dog. Because, mm. like, you know how these people, they'll have, like, a $5,000 poodle that they need to have, like, they need to have, like, a therapist come in and, like, talk to the poodle so it doesn't, like, its heart doesn't explode, right? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, this is basically a status symbol because they can invest that many resources into just having this stupid worthless dog, right? Mm. And that's exactly what a red paladin is to a raid group. It's, like, having your own, like, deluxe luxury poodle that has no value and no purpose. It doesn't play fetch. It doesn't get a ball. It doesn't stop home invaders. It doesn't do anything. All it does is shit on the floor if you slam the door too loud. Okay. Because it gets scared. That makes yeah. sense. And that's the only thing that Red Paladins are. That's really sad. Mm -hmm. So what, aren't Druids the same or no? 
Druids, um, because they're worse rogues, they're worse priests. So whenever you say druids, like balanced druids, also suck. Yeah. Okay. But at least balanced druids can buff the other uh, the other casters by giving them more crit rate. What is it? Innervate? Uh, no. Nothing? Well, the innervate is nice too, but they also moonkin form gives you crit rate to everybody else around. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that's what I played in Classic WoW. I played moonkin. Oh, that's a big mistake. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, I was wondering was why trash. I felt so bad. So bad. Yeah, it was literal garbage. Nobody yeah. should play that. And also, people say Warrior feels bad. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It feels really good the moment, especially when you hit a 36 and you get Whirlwind. Oh my God. I don't know how anybody... You know, I, get I get how leveling alone is bad, but I think leveling alone as any class is fucking bad. So just buddy up. And if you buddy up with a Warrior, you're like OP as shit. Yeah, Warriors are like the biggest force multiplier, right? Straight like up. Like Eeyore or something like dude, that. I, I did my SM runs. Like if you're a Warrior, like you should never die with the Eeyore. Absolutely. Yeah. I did, I did SM runs with three Warriors. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, How's that not the meta? It like, was. Oh, it is. Yeah, it was. Oh, that like makes if sense. You, if you watch a speedrun kill video, yeah, the, all it is is a bunch of warriors. There's like literally 17 warriors in the raid. Yeah. Because they're the best class in the game. Okay, that's that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. how it feels. No, that's just like that's just the way the numbers are. Okay. Right? It's not even it's not even an opinion. They're yeah. just the best class in the game. Okay. Hey, fuck yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hey shit. Now I get why everybody's playing warrior. That shit is exactly. good. That's fine. Yeah, that's why they're so good. Yeah, that's why everybody plays them. And I, it's like kind of like, you know obvious. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that really like if I was doing a raid and if I if I raid with you guys, then I'm just going to, I just want to go to the raid and I just want to relax. You know? I, I don't want to help raid lead. I don't, I just want to observe and watch things happen. And I swear to God, if one thing goes wrong, I am fucking roaching out so fast. <laughs> like, I am going to be gone. Like, somebody goes to half health. I'm like, oh, I, 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 that's right. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm done. Nope, not going to happen. Yeah, no, I think I'm, think I'm going to have to do the same. Like, if I see somebody being a dumbass, I'm just no, no risk. I'm just, yeah. I'm out. Petri, Petri. Well, I mean, like, Perf. realistically, I will leave the group and I will still help. And then if they go to me, then I'll Petri. Uh, speaking of what I want to go to, What's going on with Wild West, Emma? You're on that, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Um, at the time that this episode comes out, I think it'll be the second day after the opening ceremony. I think there's I think there's going to be a stream on my channel today, but there's going to be a bunch of stuff. There's a horseback riding, a shooting range, a hoedown. I don't even know what the fuck that is, honestly. Hoedown? Is that like a dancing it's like thing? A, yeah, it's a dance. Oh, yeah. Well, it's going yeah. on a... Uh, Today and tomorrow on Twitch, uh, the schedule's probably on the OTK Twitter. It's on a bunch of different channels. Mm -hmm. So It actually looks yeah. really fun. I think that's the first thing that I'll actually be like, I will be probably a little bit sad because it just looks really fun. I'm not, no, not going to go bitch about it, but it's, it looks fun. You know, it'd be cool to go yeah. there and shoot guns. Looks cool though. I'm, I, I hope it goes off without a hitch because if I don't know what it is, but in my head, I'm imagining that people rented out a like dust cowboy town, going to spittoons, or like you know, using spit to and see her RPing as a cowboy with Will Neff. Yeah. That's going to be so fucking funny. Like that's going to be such good content. I'll be excited to see what happens, honestly. I Absolutely. will. Absolutely. I'm hoping it's not a cluster fuck fest. It probably will be. Okay. Yeah. I would expect that with that many streamers in one place. Yeah. I mean, that's what people are going to tune in to watch, right? Yeah. Because like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, like the Kai Senat jail stream. Y'all saw that, right? Of course. Yeah, I saw some of it. Really good, but it was quite literally a clusterfuck. Well, that's what happens at jail. True. Yeah. 30 people in one room, it's just like mm -hmm. too much. Uh, and also, I think it's 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 on NMP's channel for the Wild West. Uh, and, then I, and then it's on your channel for a little bit as well. Everybody gets their own stream. It's yeah. kind of like uh, that uh, shit con that they did oh, a couple cool. of years Fuck ago. Yeah. That's oh. what I think they're doing, right? I, I think so, yeah. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That is always really hard figuring out when like things are happening. And it's at what? It's at like 6 p.m. or some shit? Uh, or I no, think it's all fucking day. It's all day? Oh, okay. Yeah. Dope. Cool. I mean, I think they're staying the night there or something like that. Like, I remember like they talked about it and obviously I'm not going to this, right? Yeah. And like they they tried. They tried. <laughs> but there's no way. There's no fucking way. <laughs> yeah. I, it will be cool though because mm -hmm. I will probably watch clips, but I'm stoked to get level 60. Hell I will yeah. not die. I will use my Lionheart helmet. Yeah. I will not die. This will not age poorly. I will be level <laughs> 60. I will be fucking shredded. What are you going to do after? Just help, just like focus on getting gear. Are you going to make new character? Uh, I'm going to get my pre -bis. Um, I am well aware I'm going to get max level and fully kitted three weeks before anybody else is ready. 
Um, so I'm going to start a warlock and I'm going to play with VTubers. Cool. And I'm going to boost VTubers. Jesus, like a simp? Uh, not like a simp. Kind of like, yeah. uh, like a hero. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, of course. So like a simp. Simp. Mm -hmm. What's the word? Simp, like a parallel, you know? Okay. Like a simp adjacent. Like a white knight. Yeah. Okay. Like a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good for you, <laughs> a white dude. knight. Because Soda hates VTubers. VTubers aren't allowed in the guild. Oh, really? Yeah, I will be their Smart. hero. <laughs> what the? Fuck? Well, because you don't like, what if they're, what if it's not really them playing? That's true. Yeah, yeah. It could be somebody else. It could be an imposter. That's true. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. What are these? Oh, those are from last week. I thought that they were oh, from this Oh, fuck. Week. Okay. I was going to yeah, read the yeah, review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do we need those or no? I don't know if we, we have. No, I, I, I was actually just week. reading to see. Oh, oh, wait. You know what? Here, I'll read one right now. Yeah. Uh-oh. I love Tecton's cursed sense of humor. Okay. Five star from Tui. Tu so here's a joke for him. A horse walks into the bar and the bartender asks, why the long face? The horse, not being able to comprehend human language, tries <laughs> drunk through a school zone. <laughs> Did you notice, what by the, the way, Amy, whenever that guy that we were talking to was like, yeah, I'm super drunk. I gotta drive to the liquor store. Yeah. <laughs> What the it fuck? Was like, and it's just like he said that. And like, I don't think anybody caught on to that. It was just like. I didn't actually until yeah, you just said yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I got to go to Wait, the liquor store. Bro, that is so funny. The horse, <laughs> not being able to comprehend human language, tries <laughs> to drop their school zone. I had a really fun, uh, a really, a really funny joke when I was a kid uh, that I would tell all the time. Why is six afraid of seven? Why? Do you know why? Mm. Seven, eight, nine. No, because seven's a sex offender. Ooh, wow. Mm. <laughs> That's probably, uh, you know, at least in certain communities, probably accurate. Dude, yeah. that shit would give me the... Seven, eight, nine. Nah, seven killed his family. <laughs> it's so good. I love dumbass shit like that. Or another one when I was in third grade. This one is so cringe. Uh -oh, knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting hippopotamus. Interrupting... Hippo! Oh, okay. <laughs> And it's like it's like you know it's gonna happen, right? But it's like you can't not say it. It's like okay, uh, classic. It's dude. like D's what? Okay, here, yeah, we, here go. we go. <laughs> or here's a really good one. Okay, okay. What's four times four? Sixteen. Sixteen times two. Thirty-two. Thirty-two plus eighteen. Fifty. Fifty's nuts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I I miss the age of long-term joke telling. Yeah. Like, like, like really long, like, you know, like take everybody on a little story and there's a nice punchline at the end. Uh -huh. Those things don't exist anymore. Like, I, I don't know, like if you ever heard any of those, like, Oh yeah, sure. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like there was a really fun where I, I, I was able to artificially, well, not artificially, I, I was able to extend a joke to an hour and 15 minutes. But for that hour and 15 minutes, I got to take everybody through a journey where everybody would just sit there and I, I, you know, at first it started around 15, then it gets longer and longer and longer. My buddies add on to the story, like, what if he did this? And it was just a really nice time. Those jokes don't really exist anymore. Well, and because they don't fit in a TikTok. Yeah. Like I had a really uh, a fun one where it's, uh, you know, a guy walks into a bar and he sees this pirate and he's, you know, at the bar and he's getting a drink, you know, things that pirates do. He didn't have any rum on the boat. So he was getting a drink from behind the bar mm -hmm. and uh, he's looking at him. And he has this big old wheel on his dick. You know, one of those pirate ship wheels yeah, that yeah, you know, people sure. use to steer the boat. And so the guy goes up to him and he's like, man, what the fuck is that thing? Is, 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 that, like, is, that, like, is that like a ship wheel on your cock? And uh, the pirate looks at him and says, "Yar, it's driving me nuts. And that's the whole <laughs> joke. And I, I just, I don't know. I just love shit like that, man. It's just, they're not really funny. They're really not funny. But it's just something to like pass the time. Maybe I'm a boomer now. All of the jokes that, like, I know are bad. I don't know why, yeah. but, like, I always remember the bad ones, and I never remember the ones that are okay. I think bad ones are endearing. Yeah, you but know? Twitch doesn't. I know. They just say cringe, yeah. Pepe W, but, like... Well, no, I mean the what, the people that run the site. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, they're not a fan of these. Oh, you mean, like... Well, I mean, just any of them. Like, right? you mean bad ones as in, like... Well, I mean, no, a lot. There's a lot of different kinds of bad ones. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Bad as in not funny or bad as in, like, you can't say these? Both. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Primarily the second kind. Yeah, like, I, I don't really care about, like, being funny. I just, like... I like just... I don't know. I, I, it, I don't want to say comforting. That's fucking cringe. 
but just doing something at least making people suspend their worries for a second. Just having people focus yeah, on like yeah, a Yeah, yeah, it distracts them. Yeah, just a distraction. Well, that shit. I think we've had, uh, we've, we've distracted you guys for long enough. <laughs> That's and right. uh, we've had fun. And so probably by this time this video comes out, Maybe Miz will have killed Emmy again. Tecton will finally die. Nope. And uh, <laughs> I'll be probably delaying playing the game again because I've been reacting too much. So thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. And also for Wild West, you can watch Wild West at watchwildwest.com. They actually made a whole website for it so people can actually keep track of everything Ooh. and know what's actually going on rather than following 15 different people's Twitter accounts to get an update on everything that happens. Ooh. So yeah, there you go, guys. And uh, I'll be excited to uh, watch this from the comfort of my nest. Damn, that shit looks good. Oh shit, wow. Oh, also check out our Patreon. More Steak and Eggs content. All yeah, the time. true. I need to get that. Uh, they need to give me one of those hoodies. The uh, the black one that looks cool. Yeah, that looks, cool. that looks like the band. It looks like a a hoodie for like a black metal band from Norway. I stole one of those. Oh really? Yep. I should steal. I should steal them. Yeah, there's one. actually you can steal one right there. Okay, I'll go do that. Yeah, they're nice. So yeah, guys, uh, Wild West, and um, thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate it. And shit, we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Send me gold on Wow. Yeah. Did you did you ever get beat up when you were a kid? No. By like a bully? Because oh, I would have games, people try to fuck with me, but like not. I got my shit rocked. Really? For playing video games? Oh yeah, because I was uh oh, I would yeah, my, my school was every grade in one. Right? Yeah. So kindergarten through twelfth grade. So like imagine oh, when you're like an eighth yes. grader or a seventh grader and there's a fucking twelfth grader who's giving you shit. Like they're huge. They're like adults. Yeah. It's like getting beat up by your dad. That's scary. <laughs> that's, that makes no sense to me. I don't know if yep. it's just the school I yeah, went to crazy. or we're not, our age gap isn't that big. So I don't think it's like that we, either. No, nah, no. Nah, there's like a lot of smaller schools that are like that, like yeah. religious schools, et cetera, too. Yeah. I went to like, a, a bigger school, but I was going to say at yeah. my school, even most of the cool kids played games. Like they play like Halo or Assassin's Creed or whatever. Yeah, well, you're no, a bit, no you're a bit younger. Did. Like back in the I'll day, the, yeah, it was, it was not really like that. But like mm -hmm. the thing is that I would never really get made fun of that much. Like, it was not really that much of a thing. I mean, uh, like in my school, though, like if you touched another person in my school, you would get sus you would get expelled for the entire semester. Oh, like if you if you put Whoa. your hand because somebody got killed. And huh? so, yeah, uh? yeah, somebody got killed in my school. And so uh, and it was like a couple of years. And so we had a police station on Whoa. the campus of the school. Holy shit. Because people would bring knives to school and stuff like that. So, like, the truth what? is, like, we never had, like, and they had a federal prison security guard at my school. That's insane. And There's I saw a him one time this kid too. tried to get in a fight. I saw this dude straight up. This dude was, like, five foot six, and he was also five feet wide. Like, this dude grabbed <laughs> this kid. This is, like, a 200-pound, six-foot kid grabbed him with one arm, threw him against the lockers, jumped with his knee in the air, with his knee on the kid's neck. Bro, like this kid was just destroyed in like a second. <laughs> it was so fucking funny to watch.